All right, guys, Donna Salib, IFBB Pro, your New York Pro Champion 2022. So today we're gonna give you a little bit of my chest day and uh, hopefully you follow along on this road to the Olympia. We're about nine weeks out from the Rising Phoenix and then another nine until the Olympia. So hopefully you keep following along and enjoy some of the content. All right, so this is second to the last working set for flat bench. So we will bump it on up for my last working set to find somebody to give me a spot because usually I just train by myself. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna find me a spotter here in just a minute and then we'll be back for the the last working set. The hair's gotta go up. Okay, so that's the last working set. And next I'll move on to um, some incline dumbbell presses. So I'll do two warm-up sets and then I'll do my two. Set on this one, and then we're gonna move on to some type of fly motion.
on to the next thing. So that was the 80s. Um, so this is nine weeks out from the Rising Phoenix. We just did a cut on my carbs and stuff. So I feel like my strength is just a little bit less than what it usually is. Um, on the flat bench, I did 225 for 10. Um, had a nice working set, work warming up and everything. So not, not too bad on my strength, but I can start feeling the cut. So added cardio and all that good stuff. So it's time to roll, y'all. So this is the trials and tribulations of being a short person. Shouldn't call myself short, I'm uh, space efficient. But most of the seats don't come up high enough for me to sit, so I have to stand on those things. So it's all about uh, modifying to make it work for you. Let's see, instead of being called short, we can call me uh, fun sized or compact awesomeness. How's that? <laughs> vertically challenged and I'm not trying <laughs> so on most chest days I'll do bench incline and flat like I said before I switch out the barbell and the, the dumbbell variations I'll, sometimes I'll use a machine I don't, I'm not real big on machines um, I'll throw them in every now and then especially if like I have a second leg day or a second back day or something like that but like the fly i'll switch the pec deck with the cable crossovers i'll switch those out every week and then um same on on like the machines i might do a flat or an incline every now and then just to give myself a little bit more and then i always like finishing up with this things differently sometimes I think outside the box a whole lot like I said before I like to modify things just because of my height um, and my structure and stuff like I know most girls go through it because we're built smaller some way so I modify different things just so it fits and it hits what I needed to fix whatever whatever the modification is as long as it fixes what I needed to do so I can see here that I'm gonna be too short for this so I have to set the seat up
then we'll move on to some dips. I'm not talking about the goose around here. I'm talking about for the chest. This is the last set on this, and then we're gonna go on to dips. So uh, I had to throw a towel up. I'm kind of sweaty, so I'm sliding off the, the bench and stuff. So last set of this, and then on to dips. What up, Blake? Just unload it and then we'll go on over to this. So if you're in a really cool gym to come train at, if you're ever in Louisville, Kentucky, I'm at Everyday Athletes, which is this awesome gym here. Look it up, man. Everything you could possibly need to train. I don't care if you're strongman, bodybuilder, um, CrossFit, powerlifting, poly lifting, they got it all, so. So I'm going to use assisted because my big butt weighs a lot. I'm not going to disclose how much I weigh right this minute, but I would say it's between 170 and 180. And the reason that I choose to use assisted is because I really don't want to trash my shoulders. Um, being the end of my workout, I'm pretty fatigued, so you know I don't just want to take a chance of hurting myself. So and that's why. With your dips, when you're trying to target your chest, you want to kind of lean forward a little bit. If you're targeting your triceps, you need to kind of lean back a little bit. There's a difference in the angle and stuff and what you're going to hit. So just FYI, if you didn't know, there you go. Free pro tip of the day. <laughs> So hopefully you enjoyed today's content with a little bit of my chest workout. Um, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe to my ch uh, channel because all throughout the course of getting ready to um, go on the Olympia stage, I'll be posting videos and stuff and hopefully you can come along with me and enjoy the journey with me. Um, hopefully you learn something along the way and hopefully it gives you just a little insight on the person that I am outside of the bodybuilder. So stay tuned, more coming at you.